hello hello and welcome to my channel i am going to show you some vases today so i know i always see stories in the news person finds vase at goodwill for twenty dollars sells for fifty thousand there are quite a few of those stories out there if you google vase found at thrift store sells for thousands people find them and the only way to find them is if you have some sort of idea what you're looking for so today i'm going to show you the top 15 selling vases or 15 of the top selling vases i kind of picked and chose ones that you could identify pretty easily if you were to come across them so i'm going to share them with you and maybe you'll be one of those lucky people that is in the news finding one of these vases worth thousands and thousands of dollars so i'm going to show you 15 of them that sold for thousands right now All right, so some of these names I was familiar with and some I was not. So I'm hoping the looks, the styles, the names on these will help you if you happen to be lucky enough to come across one at a thrift store, an estate sale, a garage sale, in your attic, where, wherever you might find them. So let's go ahead and get started. The first maker that I'm going to show you is a John Lawton vase. And again, these all sold for thousands this is a john lawton studio signed 1994 art glass cobalt blue floral iridescent vase or bowl this one this is the lowest one in this video and it sold for three thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars here you can see this vase up close beautiful beautiful iridescent vase one of my favorite types of glass vases and I did want to show you here on the bottom that John Lawton signature. It also says 1994. Always check on the bottom or on that bottom rim for those signatures. If they're signed, no matter who it's by, chances are it's going to be worth something. Might not be $4,000, but it will be worth something. So keep an eye out for those. This one sold again for almost $4,000 this next one is another smaller vase this one has a matte glaze it is not a pottery studio that i was familiar with and it sold for almost four thousand dollars this is an elizabeth and hannah overbeck pottery vase four inches another small vase stars in the sky was the pattern matte glaze they did accept a best offer on 4000 and this one was a buy it now. Here you can see it up close. You can see the stars. They kind of look like they're little shooting stars going all over the place. And here on the bottom, you can clearly read the EH for Elizabeth and Hannah Overbeck. So again, watch on the bottom. Try to identify what these markings are on them and great sale another one at four thousand dollars all right we have got another beautiful vase coming in at over four thousand dollars this one was an auction and i think in most of these i'm not doing as many so i'm going to actually tell you what the starting bid was so this one was an auction went up to four thousand and fifty dollars this is a rare 1907 Desire Christian Meisenthal Lothringen French Cameo Art Glass Vase. Was an auction, got 23 bids, sold for $4,050. Here you can see it up close. Beautiful, beautiful contrast between the red and the gold on this vase and that flower. And I did want to show you here on the bottom, it is clearly marked Christian Meisenthal stamped on the bottom. So again, if you see an amazing vase, flip it over, look at the bottom, look at that bottom rim for that signature. And I wanted to show you the reverse side of this because the reverse side is this beautiful gold with the red flower. So it's reverse of the opposite side. 
So how much did this seller start this vase at that sold for $4,000? I'm going to pop this up on the screen and you can see these bids started at $9.99. If you have something that is valuable and rare, it really does not matter where you start it. And I wanted to show you, that was the beginning bids. Here are the last bids. So it actually jumped up from $14.25 all the way up to $4,000 with the final bidder coming in at $4,050. So started at $10, ended at $4,050 with 23 bids. Watch out if you see any Christian Meisenthal. All right, the next one is another auction. This one is really, really cool. It's a hanging vase that is made of carved jade and the actual chain is carved jade as well. So super excited to show you. This is an exceptional antique Chinese carved yellow celadon jade hanging vase with sand. This one sold for $4,496. And here you can see it up close. Really cool with the chains hanging on the wooden sand. And up close a little bit more, you can see this carved jade. And again, that chain is made of jade as well. Now here is a cool thing. This has a paper, it says Chicago's auction of 1956. So the person who was selling this got it with the paperwork where it was purchased in 1956. They did circle the auction number. The person still had the bidder's paperwork from this. This one was another auction and look at this. This one started at 99 cents. Here are your last bids. It jumped from $37.10 to $44.46 and ended up ending at $44.96.49. Insane from a $0.99 cent start going for almost $4,500. All right, up next is a Baccarat, which I've actually found a few Baccarat things, so I know they are definitely out there. Some of them are not worth a ton of money, but if you find those rare pieces, they definitely are. This is a Baccarat Crystal Large 15 inch vase, architectural style. They did have the number, this one was in a box. And this one sold for a best offer on $4,700. Here you can see that crystal. They are showing it with the natural window light and a beautiful, beautiful large 15 inch. I did want to show you here on the bottom, it has the artist's name. It says Patrebo Pot, and it does have right above the word pot, it says a Baccarat signature and a great sale at $4,700. All right, up next is a vase by Jay Strongwater, which his name came up a lot during our high dollar trinket box video. I was not aware he made vases, but he does. And this one sold for almost $5,000. This is a rare Jay Strongwater jungle crystal enamel hurricane candle holder vase. It did they did put I think they meant object there this one sold for a best offer on forty eight hundred and ninety nine dollars here you can see that vase up close beautiful beautiful amethyst color of glass and here is the base with a beautiful Swarovski crystals all around as well as those cabochon stones and I did want to show you here on the bottom this one is clearly labeled J Strongwater Definitely a name you want to remember for vases, trinket boxes, jewelry, ornaments. Watch for Jay Strongwater. He does use the Swarovski crystals, so his stuff is pretty much all blingy blingy. And that was a great sale at almost $5,000. All right, up next is one of the names that I have seen duplicated a lot. So there are a lot of fakes out there of Dom. So be very, very aware of that. If you do find a Dom piece, there, there are a lot of 
of copies. So if you find a DOM base, I would recommend finding a appraiser to verify that what you have is real and not a replica. So let me show you this beautiful DOM base. This is a Dom Ferez Nancy Vase Art Nouveau France Fuchsia. It is height of 8 and 11 16th inches. Made in 1905. They did accept a best offer on $5,307. Here you can see this vase up close. Beautiful, beautiful purple base there with the green leaves. And on the top here you can see that gorgeous, gorgeous fuchsia flower. And also, you can kind of see just below the leaf, it does say Dom on it. And that was a great sale at over $5,000. Up next is one of my favorite glass colors, and that is Cobalt Blue. This is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful vase made by Dale Chihuly. This is a Dale Chihuly blue and yellow art glass vase. It does say artist sign. This one was 13 and a half inches. They accepted a best offer on $5,500. Here you can see that beautiful cobalt blue and that yellow edged rim. And I did want to show you here on the bottom. You can see it is etched into the glass. So always check that bottom. This one says Chihuly. And that was a great, great sale. Up next is another auction. And this auction got 61 bids. This is a small Royal Copenhagen vase. So this one is just a stamp bottom. No fancy signature. And it sold for over $5,500. This is an antique Royal Copenhagen full lace. This is a smaller vase. This one got 61 bids, sold for $5,650. I did not get the starting bid on this one, but you can look in the sold on eBay for antique Royal Copenhagen and find this. Here you can see this little vase up close beautiful beautiful blue with gold trim and the only picture where you can kind of see that signature here is this one on the bottom it is cut off but watch for royal copenhagen because some of these vases can be worth quite a bit of money all right the next one is a giant vase giant it's 31 inches but it brought a lot of money and this one was a numbered piece so numbered pieces are another thing always pay attention and the lower the number made typically the more value the item possesses not always but most of the time that is true this is a monumental 31 inch atore sass 1991 sculptural hollywood vase memphis milano this one sold buy it now for sixty two hundred dollars here you can see that vase up close super cool it's almost like a silhouette of a person and on the bottom you can see it has a hollywood collection sticker which wouldn't lead me to believe this was almost a six thousand dollar base but it is hand signed esot sass and it is numbered 38 of 99 great great sale over six thousand dollars all right the next two are a company that i know well and i know this stuff is out there i have purchased a couple of lalique items from online estate auctions they definitely are out there and some of them like these next two you're going to see are worth quite a bit this first one is an art deco renee lalique horses camargo frosted deep sepia stained crystal vase this one sold for a best offer on $6,450. Here you can see up close the beautiful sepia tones. So most of the Lalique I have found has been just clear glass. However, this one is colored. And on the bottom, you can see that it is clearly signed Lalique France. So you definitely want to check out the bottom. Sometimes those etchings aren't very easy to see, but are there and a great sale at almost $6,500. 
up next there were actually two that sold the other one sold for about a thousand dollars less so this is another Lalique. It is a zebra vase. It is really cool. And again, in the last 90 days, two of these have been available and sold on eBay. This is a rare, hard to find Lalique clear and white zebra Tanzania vase. This one they accepted a best offer on $6,800. Here you can see the zebras up close. They are raised. This is a really, really neat vase. I absolutely love this one. And I did want to show you, it is clearly marked Lalique France 610 and a great sale. This one, one vase, almost $7,000. All right, we are up to our top three vases that have sold on eBay in the last 90 days. This first one, was from the UK and it was actually an auction. This is a beautiful Chinese blue and white copper red porcelain calligraphy vase. It sold for $7,713. This one got 26 bids, so quite a few bids. Here you can see it up close. I absolutely love the spotted deer on this in combination with the blue. And here on the back, you can see the oriental letters and calligraphy. I did want to show you the bottom of this one. It does not have anything marked on it. And I wanted to just show you one snippet. They started this at 151 in euros and or pounds. Maybe that's pounds and it ended up at over seven thousand dollars so seven thousand seven thirteen that is what it ended at in u.s dollars and it was started at around two hundred dollars which is absolutely crazy how high that went so again this one is a great example that if you have something that is rare you could put it up on auction collectors will find this stuff as long as you keyword it and title it right and this one was a great great sale up next is one vase that sold for almost ten thousand dollars ten thousand dollars and that is a guido gamboni this is a rare large guido gamboni pottery vase it was a little over 20 inches they did put one of a kind this one sold for nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars here you can see it up close super cute just kind of abstract geometric pattern on this one and i did want to show you and we have come across gamboni pieces in the past on the bottom here you can see Gamboni Italy definitely a name you want to know single vase almost ten thousand dollars all right the top vase is another one that sold for just under that ten thousand dollar mark this one's actually a pitcher but they put it could be used as a vase which is very true and that is something that I do with my listings if it can be used for multiple things put it in there so another one almost ten thousand this is a rare pablo picasso madura ceramic owl pitcher they put it was a vase as well in their description that's how i found it this one is from 1954 they accepted a best offer on nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars here you can see it from the front super cute blue owl and i did want to show you from the side because it does look like a vase with that front angle but here you see it from the side it does have a handle it was a pitcher and you can see here it clearly says edition picasso both handwritten as well as stamped into the base and a great great sale at almost ten thousand dollars all right that was it i hope you enjoyed next sunday a week from today i actually will be leaving on a plane to phoenix arizona but i will put out another video i'll pick up below where we started today so i'm going to show you some bases worth two three four thousand dollars next week if you want to see some more even lower than that just let me know next week i hope you have enjoyed this we have a really great bud vase video too 
on vases that were all under six inches that sold for a lot so if you want to check that out i will pop that up top i appreciate you watching i will be live on whatnot tonight with vintage and estate jewelry if you would like to join me it is all five dollar start you can use my link get fifteen dollars for free if you don't know whatnot is an online auction app where you can buy some really cool stuff i have found some really really neat stuff i bought some super cute cloisonne flowers yesterday so i hope to see you over on whatnot i appreciate you watching i will see you on the next one Trying not to speak, pretend that I'm dreaming